Hi, my name's Leslie and I'm the Chief Executive Officer here at the Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust and welcome to your induction video. We're absolutely delighted that you've chosen to come and work with us here at the Trust and what we're going to do today is tell you all about the work that we do. We're going to talk about our history, we're going to talk about the people who work here and the different departments, but most importantly we're going to talk about our future, why the work that we do is really important and why you're important to us by working here. So basically everything you wanted to know about the Trust but we're too afraid to ask. So come with me now and let's explore. Hello, I am Lee Durrell, Honorary Director of Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust and I want to welcome you to this fabulous organisation. Now I'm here in my flat which is in the middle of Jersey Zoo and how I got here is a rather interesting story. I was a zoology graduate student and Gerald Durrell was my hero. He was lecturing in America and that's where I met him. He invited me to his zoo to study some of the rare animals. Well, one thing led to another, and we got married. Now, you don't usually meet your heroes, much less marry them. After a magical childhood in Corfu, where Gerald discovered his passion for the animal kingdom, he became an animal collector for zoos. Now, this was more than 50 years ago, and zoos were little more than menageries at that time, and they really didn't know how to look after animals. Now, Jerry knew that wildlife around the world was in trouble, so he determined to set up his own zoo with a conservation mission to save species from extinction. Jerry searched for the site for his zoo in the UK for two years, and then he came to Jersey, and within 24 hours of arriving, he found the perfect place. This sort of thing he called Durrell's Luck. Jersey Zoo opened in 1959, and it proved to be very popular with islanders and visitors. In the early 70s, the young Princess Anne visited Jersey. She was a great fan of Jerry's books, and she wanted to see his zoo. Well, she fell in love with the place and really understood the mission. When Jerry asked her to become patron, she readily agreed. She's been an interested, active, and helpful patron ever since, visiting the zoo dozens of times, as well as our overseas projects, and always helping with fundraising. Jerry had always intended to set up a charitable trust to oversee the mission of saving species, and he did this in 1963. The trust runs Jersey Zoo and has its headquarters here, but delivers its conservation mission all over the world. And now you are a part of that mission. We're all part of Team Durrell, whether you work here at Jersey Zoo, our headquarters, or whether you're somewhere around the world at our field site or our office in Bath. How you help Team Durrell is in either two ways. You're either mission enabling or your mission delivery. Both are extremely important to Durrell. If you work in mission enabling, perhaps you work in marketing or you work in our shops or site services. And what you're doing is helping give us the resources to undertake our critical work. If you're working in mission delivery, perhaps you're at one of our field sites or undertaking critical science that we need to understand how we're going to save species from extinction. But whatever it is that you do for Team Durrell, you really are important to us and part of that greater team. This is where I live, Lazo Grey Manor, an 18th century manor house, though lots of bits of it are older than that. It was the hub of the working farm that Gerald Durrell took a lease out on in 1958. It was here that he lived when Jersey Zoo opened. You can imagine some of the stories from the old days when the zoo operated on a shoestring with fewer than a dozen staff looking after hundreds of animals. He immortalized them in this book, Menagerie Manor, and then he wrote two subsequent books, The Stationary Ark and Ark's Anniversary. If you want to know more about the history of Durrell uh, and how it changed from a modest little zoo into the world-renowned conservation organization it is today. I do urge you to read these three books. You can find them over at the library in Durrell Conservation Academy. If you want to know even more, please come and visit the exhibition called The Gerald Durrell Story. Now we've had many successes at Durrell over the years and these successes are recognized in the many awards that we win. 
However, the success that's important to us is do we save species? We launched a new strategy called Rewild Our World. And what we want to see, our vision, is to have a wilder, healthier and more colourful world. And by colourful that we mean we truly believe that every time we lose a species, we lose a little colour in our world. And that's what we want to stop. So in our new strategy, we have what uh, we call our mission headline aims. And there's four of them. We want to see 10 sites rewilded around the world. We want to have 100 threatened species on the road to recovery. We want 500 threatened species programs, not just our own, but other people's, working much more effectively. And we want to have 1 million people better connected to nature. All that by 2025. And that's why we need everyone working as effectively as possible to make sure that we can fulfill this mission and save species. Durrell is a charity and that means as a conservation trust we have a board of trustees. Our trustees are made up of people from all walks of life but what they're there to do is help make sure that we abide by all regulations and do our best for the trust. Underneath that board of trustees there's myself and our senior management team whether they be on the mission enabling side or the mission delivery side and you'll meet some of them through this induction process. But whatever you do for the trust, whether you be a trustee, a staff member, or a volunteer, what you're doing is working with values. And we have a set of values here at Durrell that we believe are very important as an ethical organisation. Our values are that we are accountable, we are supportive, and that we are purposeful. Now, all our values are important, but the one that stands out for me is purposeful. Everything that we do here at Durrell is for a purpose. That purpose is that we're saving species from extinction. And that's what we do every single day. All of us are important in that value. And you're going to hear more about the other values from some of the other people in this induction process. The Human Resources Department at Durrell is a mission enabling department located within the Jersey headquarters. HR coordinates the full employee life cycle from the recruitment of new employees to their development, management, well-being, and finally the exit process. Our volunteer manager looks after our army of passionate Durrell volunteers. Most volunteers are involved in activities based at our Jersey headquarters, such as supporting the animal staff, charity shop team, office staff and grounds team, as well as supporting staff with our events and fundraising activities. Volunteers also help to deliver a fantastic visitor experience through sharing their knowledge of the Trust locally and further afield. Volunteer support is extremely valuable to us and because of our volunteers, our impact in saving species from extinction is far greater. HR helps to ensure that employees feel supported and they know that they have someone who will listen. They have an open door policy in HR, enabling employees to discuss both personal and professional challenges. Doral has three very important people values, purposeful, accountable, and supportive. Being supportive is fundamental for an HR department ethos, for the organization and the employees within it. Doral HR can tell you more about pensions, private healthcare, and the employee assistance program as part of its commitment to act as a mindful employer at all times, encouraging a diverse and inclusive working environment. Your journey with Doral starts and ends with the human resources team, and they will strive to support your journey of professional development throughout your time with us. The Doral Conservation Academy is where we train our conservationists. Formerly known as Le Noyes, the training centre was officially opened by Her Royal Highness the Princess Anne on the 5th of October in 1984, as part of the Trust's 25th anniversary celebrations. Gerald Durrell strived for the training centre to educate students across the world on caring for and protecting endangered species. Our students, tutors and contacts are in their thousands, spread across over a hundred countries. The Academy makes up part of the Conservation Knowledge Department. This larger department encompasses our Academy training work, Conservation Knowledge Team's work on site, and our Conservation Science Team in our Bath office. Staff and volunteers have access to Academy learning facilities, such as books which can be borrowed from our extensive library, including those written by Gerald Durrell. 
We also have a second library full of journals and a computer lab open to staff and students. Doral has online access to around 200 online journals and our teaching rooms can also be booked out for staff meetings and events. Do take the chance to come over and use the facilities as much as you want. The Conservation Knowledge Department covers our science, training and conservation learning team. Some of the team are based in the office in Bath in the west of England, but they travel regularly over to Jersey and spend time at our headquarters. When in Jersey, they can be found either at the Conservation Academy offices or in the Doral Discovery Centre, where the Conservation Learning Team is based. The Conservation Learning Team deliver three core components of our mission. Science, how we do conservation and whether it's effective. Training, helping conservationists from around the world become better conservationists. And learning, helping children and adults from the general public to really engage with nature and understand its value. The Conservation Knowledge Department is responsible for the development and maintenance of the Doral Index. The Doral Index measures performance of our conservation mission. Found online via our website, the Doral Index is a suite of scientific indicators and measures of success, but also stories that allow us to understand where we have been effective, where we need to adapt to become more effective, and it provides the overall picture of how well we are doing in terms of the delivery of our mission. The Conservation Learning Department is very much mission delivery and works very closely with Jersey Zoo colleagues and the field programs teams to help them deliver conservation effectively here in the zoo and on the ground at our field projects. If you want to know more about the organisation, vision and strategy for the future, please speak to anyone on the Conservation Knowledge Team. Doral's Field Project Department lead the delivery of the Doral Conservation Strategy to our field sites around the world. Although they are mostly hidden behind the scenes, our field teams make up almost 50% of Doral's workforce. Doral operates in countries around the world, mainly in tropical regions. Around 60 people work permanently for Doral's projects in Madagascar, the Caribbean, Indian Ocean Islands such as Mauritius, and also in the far north province of Assam in India. Conservation for Doral requires a broad range of different skills. Doral overseas staff run complex research projects, protecting habitats and restoring different plants and animals back to the wild. Our overseas breeding programs interact closely with our Jersey staff to provide a strong working relationship between our various animal departments. We work with rural communities to support them and improve their well-being. Doral runs outreach festivals, education programmes and supports the development of new conservation policies and laws. Through the work of our dedicated staff, conservation at Doral utilises and delivers a wide range of expertise and skills, locally and out in the field. We work with over 150 different organisations, including governments and regional associations, large international organisations, community groups and associations. Our conservation mission's success is down to those who enable it to happen in the first place. With the help of generous sponsors, we can bring staff together annually at our Conservation Week in Jersey. This is a fantastic opportunity for our community to connect and update each other and our supporters and staff. Based in the manor house on the top floor and the level below that, or Middle Earth, the communication and fundraising team publicise Doral's vital work and fundraising. The team aims to bring awareness of Doral and the work we do to the public through advertisements across the zoo and the world, through social media and our website. As one of the larger mission enabling teams, this team ensures Doral raises enough to fund the mission delivery team's work to save species from extinction. The team also keeps in touch with members through e-newsletters and our twice yearly magazine, Wildlife. There is a full calendar of fundraising events throughout the year, and these vary from events like the Doral Challenge and the Doral Dash, where people undertake road races, to big charity balls like the Wilderness Ball with charity auctions and raffles. 
There are also zoo-based events, which are a way to really drive visitation to the site itself. The commercial team works across the site to bring in a lot of the unrestricted income that helps with Durrell's mission. Visitor centre staff are responsible for everything from admissions to the gift shop. In addition to our on-site cafes, Cafe Firefly and Cafe Dodo, we also have a mobile catering van which is usually sited outside the visitor centre but is often used for events as well. Durrell also receives income from our charity shop and the hostel, primarily used for hosting academy students but is also used for commercial gain. There is also this award-winning campsite where guests have the luxury of being able to stay just metres away from ring-tailed lemurs in the trees. It costs an enormous amount to run Durrell and Jersey Zoo and each penny earned goes back into supporting the mission and doing what Durrell does best. Durrell also has a 50% partnership with Cheeky Monkeys, an on-site nursery which not only brings in really valuable commercial income but also gives a whole generation of future conservationists an opportunity to explore and learn about the Trust. Jersey Zoo has around 1,100 animals of about 120 different species on site. They are split into three different animal departments, the mammal department, the bird department, and the reptile and amphibian department. Each department has a head and a deputy head, and then different numbers of keepers. Our on-site veterinary department means we can do a lot of the necessary veterinary treatment on site. Our animal registry and records department allows us to keep the life history and data of animals in our care, and also catalogues many of our animal transports through imports and exports. Doral exchanges a lot of animals with other zoos and conservation organisations as part of the captive breeding programme. Every animal at Jersey Zoo fits into a plan designed to contribute to species conservation through breeding programs, engagement or research projects. Our animal departments and Doral Conservation Academy collaborate to train volunteers as well as enable trainees and school groups to use the zoo and animals as part of training within the grounds. Jersey Zoo is a very popular visitor attraction which aims to connect with the public through nature in a fun and educational way, especially through engagement and interaction. The mammal department is the largest animal department we have. We work with a variety of species such as the apes, the bears, monkeys, lemurs and the Livingston fruit bats. The mammal department do a huge amount of husbandry and research work and are also involved in helping deliver keeper talks and unique experiences for visitors to the zoo. Doral works with some of the most endangered and rare animals from all around the world, therefore conservation breeding is an important part of that. We've had some notable world firsts here, such as the first Sumatran orangutan birth caught on camera. Our rarest on-site animal, the Livingston fruit bats and the Rodriguez fruit bats, have captive breeding programs which have helped to increase their populations. Jersey Zoo is now home to the largest captive population of Livingston fruit bats, with the majority of the population being housed here. Plus, on top of all of this, following a successful fundraising project, plans to build a new home for our gorillas have also begun. The bird department services aviaries across the zoo with lots going on, especially in summer during the sensitive breeding and nesting seasons. Staff hand rear and care for a variety of species, from ibis to endangered pink pigeons, the Sumatran laughing thrush to flamingos. They also work with the red-billed chuff, which have been reintroduced on the north coast of Jersey. The herpetology house is home to our reptiles and amphibians, big and small, from dart frogs to plowshare tortoises to pythons. Herpetology frequently collaborates with our field teams to help those species in the wild too. Like other animal departments, keepers in this area give public talks. Feel free to come along to ask questions and learn more about your favourite animals. The site service team, located behind the Butterfly House and Orchard, encompass Durrell's can-do maintenance, landscape and logistics team. Whether it's painting, repairing, replacing, reusing materials, parts and plants, 
They're the team for the job. They make new enclosures, buildings and flower beds, as well as coordinate the running of the grounds through external plumbing, electrical and building contractors. The logistics team purchase animal husbandry items and animal foods. They deliver hardware, goods and animal food to each animal department. Our animal food is grown by our organic farm manager and volunteers to help us keep produce really fresh, specialist and prices down. Green waste, compost and some recycling is found here, close to the greenhouse and maintenance workshops. So make sure you take time to familiarise yourself with the health and safety procedures of this area. Deliveries arrive via La Fosse Gate to Den's Shed, where the team's offices and mess room are situated. And this is where animal food deliveries are taken and stored. On an island full of large financial corporations, supporting Durrell's conservation mission through working in our finance department is a unique and rewarding role. Although budgets and bills are involved here too, finance staff at Durrell can enjoy a backdrop of some of the rarest animals in the world in our beautiful grounds. Located in the office above the Gerald Durrell story, the Durrell finance team coordinate Durrell's finances, including the zoo, all its commercial activities and its fundraising income. The finance team ensures that any restricted funding that Durrell receives is spent appropriately on our conservation activities and resources in Jersey and overseas field projects too, playing a vital role in our conservation mission. Durrell really is a unique and wonderful workplace. As you continue through your induction process, please take time out to ask any of our friendly keepers, staff or volunteers anything you might want to know about the trust that you don't already know. Thanks for watching.